Boo. Lee. All right, so the question for today is, which do y'all prefer, light skins or dark skins? Light skins. Light skins. Light skins. Why? Because they just got a vibe. Just a vibe? Yeah. How about you? Man, that's all I've been attracted. Like, I like light skins. That's, it ain't even no answer to that. Dude. Light skins. Because <laughs> they way better than dark skins. Ah, uh, you, you hear what they say? You hear what they say? Light skin or dark skin? I ain't gonna lie, it don't matter. But I ain't gonna lie, light skin got better. Like, imagine you look at that shit. That shit beautiful, bro. <laughs> you, but you laughing? I'm dead. That shit beautiful, nice and light skin. See, dark skin, they be black. I be thinking like jerk chicken and shit like that. <laughs> Me? Hey Exoticals, I am back with another video. In today's video, I want to talk about the obsession with the light skin tone, especially when it's on a black person. There's this weird love-hate relationship with the light skin tone in the black community. Me? Obsessed with you? Yes. Yes, I am. It's like people are either overly obsessed with you or they hate you. Bro, you are not black. Boy, you are white passing every day. Man, for real, go that way. Okay. Ooh, a black guy. Hey, do a dance. Can you do the dance? Or they dislike you or secretly prejudging you or something. You all are suffering from a horrible, horrible case of the Willie Lynch syndrome. Let me tell y'all a little bit about what that is. It says that it's been exposed as a hoax, but I call bullshit because y'all are still doing this shit. Basically, this is the last thing that was dropped on slaves before slavery ended. Basically, the last thing that they had to put us against each other. So like at the end of the day, we all still niggas. I feel like this mindset is completely ignorant and invalidating to those type of people anyway, because who are we to sit here and say that they don't actually genuinely experience these experiences? Me of a lighter complexion, I can say that I have been discriminated against against by my own family. For example, my mom's side of the family is lighter. My dad's side of the family is a little bit darker. What black people would call chocolate, I guess. They would always say to me that I didn't look like I belonged to them because I was a little bit lighter than them. These type of racisms and discriminations do happen inside of households and family and they should not be invalidated because you didn't experience them. If you grew up with a lighter skin tone, chances are you were fetishized as a child, especially when you're at a younger age, even as an, in your adulthood too. For the females, if you're an attractive light skin, you're gonna have it double times as more. Once a light skin girl hits puberty, that's when the hate starts to really form, especially when it comes to the people who are envious of you. There's a whole bunch of videos online that are called subliminals and I guess they're supposed to be like a hypnosis of some sort. Basically they're videos to hypnotize people to make their skin lighter. I've even seen some that says become more beautiful. I just seen one that says reduce 
melanin for a lighter skin affirmations subliminals like this is insane people will call you light skin like it's your nickname or something like i've been called light skin so many times like hey light skin when somebody's trying to call me from across the street or a dude trying to cat call me that's what he'll say he'll be like hey light skin or hey red this guy that i was dating used to always call me yellow whenever he was like trying to joke around with me and he would be like something something whatever he's joking about with your yellow ass like he will always say something like that so it's like if you have a light skin complexion you're you are always aware of it because of other people it's crazy my highest ranking video talks about light skin issues and it's just like this colorism topic like anytime i talk about colorism in my videos I'm, I'm looking at the analytics and it's showing me those are the highest ranking videos like this topic is so this topic of colorism is so deep people say they're tired of talking about colorism but one of my highest ranking videos talks about light skin in other communities too white supremacy has really done a number on a lot of minority groups it's talked about in the black community colorism easily almost there's the racism's discussed but colorism within the black community in the latino community not so much i really agree i think it's this um indoctrination that latinos are one which is false and then as in this notion of being one um we believe that it is a family so it's almost like we're airing dirty laundry mm -hmm. so we kind of like brush it under the rug out of shame I, and I, I don't think it's denial because I think most know, um, but it's denial right. and shame in revealing that like <gasps> thing that, you know, colonialism left us with. Other dark skinned people can tell you, dark skin, that colorism stuff affects everybody. It only even just affect black dark skinned people, Southeast Asians, Asian people, Pacific Islanders, the Hispanics, everybody. We live in the culture of Western civilization, white domination. So it's going to be coloristic because we live in a system of white supremacy. I always hear a darker skinned dude talking about how he wants light skinned babies. Like I was having conversations with Nip about, I'm like, look, bro, we got, we got some light skinned pretty girls we gotta raise we in trouble my nigga what we going to mad but in the bay you can meet a girl before you can say her name be like what you mix with and she'll probably tell you that her mama's this her daddy's that and mixed mixed heritage women have always been my favorite like i don't think i've ever fallen in love with a woman that wasn't mixed really and the bay did that to me really because i it's something you get I, and I, I feel like that way about life too like like biracial babies are you could take you could take the two ugliest from sep from different races and they and make a baby and that baby just be beautiful it happens all the time it's laughing, but it's true bruh i don't know how many dudes i've dated that i felt like were colorist in my opinion i remember one guy saying that he didn't want me to leave him because he was a he didn't want to lose all this light skin. He was dark skin. He was like Tyrese color. But like, I was just like, my color? What about everything else that I got going on? Have you ever noticed that if you're light skinned and you call yourself light skin or a red bone and you're not white passing, you're not like white as ice spice, but maybe you're caramel complexion. It's like people will literally get offended if you call yourself light skin or a red bone like you said something derogatory like it's just a skin color y'all i am not one of those black people who says that they're light skin and they're not because you're gonna look at me and you're gonna look at her and you're gonna say that we're not the same color i have no problem being brown skin but y'all not about to act like i'm delusional when i'm literally the same color as the bitch y'all praise for being light skin don't play me and before y'all say uh lighting is an issue let me just back up because we still I'm gonna go darker than her right here. But y'all get the point. <laughs> and people should be proud to be whatever skin color they were born at. So I don't understand why people get so offended when a light skinned person has confidence in themselves and how they look. 
and they want to flaunt it. I mean, other people get to flaunt their beauty, but because you have a lighter skin tone, it's just seen as taboo to be able to express how you love yourself, how you love your skin, how you think you're beautiful if you're light skinned. Like every time I come around somebody who I feel like has some type of inferiority complex about their color, I always try to, I always notice them comparing themselves to me. I'm able to tell when somebody feels insecure around me, feels some type of way. And um, a lot of people would compare their skin to me and I, I'd be paying attention enough to notice that. I'm just like, why is skin so serious? Little kids, you know, little kids will tell you the truth. And I have so many little kids saying, like, I like you. I like the way you look. I like your skin color. Like, little kids will tell it to you. Like, it's crazy. The obsession for light skin in the black community. Do you know but lay up there looking light? Well, that's what yellow bitches do. There's a lot of gatekeepers, too. Like, if you're not light skinned enough, there's a lot of those. And there's always people who are dark skinned who are trying to gatekeep who's light skinned. That benefit from featurism as well. If you're. If you're light skinned and you have broader features, they pick on you, they make fun of you. And it's just like, do you realize you're making fun of your own features? Like we've been talking about colorism and how to fix it for years and we're still here. Like it's so ingrained in us. And another thing, nobody said we were better than anybody. Like I keep, I get so sick of hearing that whenever I see a light skinned girl, and somebody says, oh, you think you better than us? Nobody ever said that. <laughs> what? Grandpa, you think you better than us, huh? Hey, hey, I, I didn't. Don't be getting off the ditty on it, nigga. He's let go of me. That's projection. That's projection. I get so sick of hearing that. Or you're stuck up, bougie. It's always something like that. I thought you were mean when I first met you. It's like, damn. They're too busy projecting their insecurities and pain onto us dark-skinned women i've never got along i've always tried to befriend them but they've always stabbed me in the back always every time i try to befriend an unambiguous black woman they've always stabbed me in the back but i'm gonna do that story time in another video i just wanted to get on here real quick and talk about the obsession with the light skin tone like it's just a skin complexion. It's beautiful. Yes. All skin colors are beautiful though. We have to we have to reprogram our minds out of this colorism issue. It's been going on for far too long. We we can't have the next generation going through this. We got to do something, y'all. We got to do something. Let me know what y'all think in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.